Hello and welcome to section four. This will be part one and we're going to be creating the RTS character plugin. So first I just want to cover why we're creating a plugin for the character. So the idea is that the RTS framework will be designed to work independently of any specific character or, or vehicle. It'll work based off just entities. So what the character plugin will do is it will contain a base class. The base class will have the setup so we can interface with the rest of the framework. That applies to any character that you want to use in your project. Uh, the, the character part could just go in RTS Core. However, if you do it in its own plugin, say you had a game that you know only had vehicles or whatever, you wouldn't need to include any of these files or anything. And it also just keeps all the character-related classes and files neatly in one package. In this section, we're going to be creating a character base class, and then we'll create another test character class just to demonstrate how you would you know, add your own character. So the idea is that the base class will have the framework integration and then your character class will have whatever your character needs to have to be a character. Pretty simple this part, but we need a test character for our when we go on to RTS entities next. So this is this will be quite short and we'll probably come back to section four at another time when we start extending the character to, to talk to our, the entity part. We're going to start this tutorial in the editor. Um, we're just going to go straight into plugins, add a new plugin of the blank template. I'm going to call it RTS character and create the plugin. All right, once the, the plugin's finished creating, I'm into source, public, and I'm just going to create the base class. So just create a character. I'll just put it in a character as well. Now, the reason why I'm putting things, you'll see me use the framework folder a lot in, in plugins. The reason why I'm doing that is if you didn't want to put it, you're following these tutorials and you don't want to make all these different plugins, you can just put it all into one. I'm trying to keep the folder structure that would work across, like using a single project as well. Also, just keeps things neat. Also, it helps when you're trying to find something and if every plugin has the same folder structure, it's going to find things where you expect them to be. I'm just going to clean this up quickly. Uh, we don't need the input on the base class. Uh, I'm going to add the object initializer here. And, that, and that's all we really need right now for the base class. I know it's pretty straightforward and simple, but so it, this class will act like a class between the Unreal character and your custom character in the game, just to in, embed any functionality we need to work with the framework. So we'll be implementing interfaces here, which will uh, have some functionality to talk to the character. So the next one, I'm going to create another class. And I'm going to call this one this would be how you add your own character so you can either do it in the rts character plugin or you could just do it in your project but you'd create a character so this would be whatever name your ca character class is it doesn't really matter but you would inherit from the character base we just created even if it, you know it's not in this plugin i'm going to put this under because i am putting it in the rts character things so i'm going to put it under characters folder but in its own folder so this would be the test character what is the Test. You'd have some name here that's you know monster one or <laughs> whatever you're adding. If you if you are creating characters that can be controlled, you may want to leave the input. But all our, all the characters all we're using and most commonly for RTS is they'll just be AI controlled. And if we go base. We So this is kind of boilerplate at this point, but you get the idea. Hope. Got any questions, leave them in the comments, but it might, kind of might seem a bit pointless at the moment. Once we get into the entities part, that it will make more sense. So what I want to do with this test character is I actually want to make it the mannequin, the UE mannequin, just as a base test character, which is probably good to have in any project, right? So like you could, prob you could maybe even make this RTS character something you can drag into a project and you get the mannequin. If you want, but it's primary focus at the moment is to 
implement the required stuff for the RTS framework. So I'm going to fire up editor again. In the editor, we actually want the mannequin files. So there's a couple of ways you can get them. You can come to add and do add feature content pack and add the third person character to get the mannequin. It's going to add a whole bunch of crap we don't need, so classes and things. So what I'm going to do is, well, I, what I've previously done is I've created a project with just the third person character in it. And for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, that's you just go, you just launch your editor through uh, the Epic Launcher, and then you'll just come to third person, create a project, and that's just the template. That's all you want. And then you'll have a project that looks like this, and it's got just got the third person classes. So this is the C++ we don't really need. So I'll load this up. So it's just a generic template. I haven't touched this. this is exactly what comes in in the template. But what we do want is this characters folder. So it just has all the files for many of Mannequin. So what we're going to do is we're going to migrate this. I think we migrate here. So it's just going to migrate everything to do with Mannequin. It'll, so it'll be the animation graph, the skeleton, and all the textures. And we can actually point that in our framework. We can actually go to plugins, RTS character, and the content folder. And that'll bring in that directly to our plugin. Now we've got the content characters. So now we can go ahead and create our character. This will be our test character. I'm just going to create a blueprint class. I'm going to declare it from our test character. And I'm going to call it um, whatever. And I might make a fold. So in here we just need to set up Manny again. So I'm going to use animation graph for Manny, skeleton for Manny. I think it's Manny simple. Right. Oh. That's right. I'll do. And there's our test character. We'll be using him as our test entity in the upcoming next section. Uh, simple video for this section, but uh, absolutely required. See you in the next video.